Oh wow. The salad in the cone. Salad in the cone. Oh, that's really nice. Welcome to the sunny and shiny episode of the Hidden Greats. It's a beautiful morning and we are at the Kite Beach. And today we're going to be trying French Bistro. Welcome to Lava Deaths. The concept Lava Deaths started by Vicky Odhrani four months ago. And it has become the name of choice for the people going to the Kite Beach. Thank you so much Vicky for inviting us here. Very nice little restaurant, beautiful people around you. So you have all the reasons to come to the beach every day, yeah? So tell me, what is the concept behind Lava Date? The name itself means above the stars. And as you know, Dubai, larger than life. Yeah. We wanted to bring a French-American concept where you have all the food to go. You know, mm -hmm. you're on the move, you're on the beach, you're mm -hmm. doing your activities here. You were maybe taking a walk down. Yeah. So we brought the concept to a different level where we have fusion American and French food. So tell me, what is unique in your concept? Unique part of the concept is we are one of the only people in Dubai who are actually having a truck food with a street style bistro. Mm -hmm. When you say bistro, it means it is a fine dining on the street. Okay, very nice. So what are you offering me today? Offering you a salad, which is La Fatouche. Oh, wow. The salad in the cone. Salad in the cone. Oh, that's really nice. Very refreshing. Fresh, very nice. And what else? We've got uh, a crepe La Cordon Bleu uh -huh. lined up for you and Leroy, which is the French burger, and it comes with the berries. All right, great. So let's see how it goes. So I'll be starting with my personal favorite, crepe. Now don't be confused, crepe with the pancake because they're two different things, but the ingredients are almost the same. So the, what I'm eating right now at Lava Day is cotton blue. You have three different kinds of meat in there. You have Swiss cheese and you have the morning sauce. So now let me cut this. Look at this, lot of stuff, lots of stuff. Look at this. And now, I'll take my first bite. Not abundantly sweet, the crepe, which is very nice. Then you have the smoky flavor of beef and the real bacon. You have this really nice Swiss cheese in there and you have Mona sauce which is their signature sauce amazing here I have this their signature waffle burger now this burger is a perfect example of how these chefs are taking different kind of foods to a completely different level we all have eaten waffles with cream uh, with uh, with strawberries with the honey but they have came up with this idea of actually assembling a burger okay so here we have you know a very very thick patty beef patty you know i can see the juices in there and then we have the veal bacons on top and now look at the twist they have the pickles of course but on top they have this their signature berry sauce. It's gonna taste really, very really different. So let me try this now. If you wanna have a look in detail, look at the size of the patty. These waffles are so, so fluffy. And again, I have to use my other version of mouth, the bigger one. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is outstanding. I've never tried a burger like this in my life. I'm a big burger fan, huge burger fan. I love a lot of meat, 
But this thing is out of this world. And that is the reason why I call myself one lucky piece of me. I'm sure you have enjoyed this week's episode of The Hidden Grades. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel called The Hidden Grades.